Okay, let's look at the question number three. That is an independent t-test. The the data is from chapter chapter nine point three. That is here. That's here, and the question is about a uh, vitamin K shot is given to infants soon after birth. Blah 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 blah. blah. Okay, and please calculate data from table nine point three point eleven and point twelve. And sure, I just prepared the, the information here. You don't need to select. You just select and paste it. That's enough because I, I selected copy and paste to my to my document. It's okay. And the question is the first one. What's the number of those two groups? What's the mean of those two groups? What's the standard deviation for those two groups? And what is the degree of freedom? Uh, sure, there are several ways to calculate the degree of freedom, but this one I prefer the easiest one. Just uh, 30 minus 1, that would be 29. Another 30 minus 1, that would be another 29. Plus them together, put them together, that is 58. Okay, this part is okay. And how about the p value? And is this significant? Okay, let's check it. About this part, about this part, because uh, if you test, try this, try this. Oh, not this one, sorry. Okay, I already prepared the, the, the link here. If you just uh, select copy and paste it, you will get nothing. <laughs> you will get nothing, believe me. Believe me. Uh, here. At the group two here. Control C to copy. Control V to paste. And <coughs> excuse me. And calculate now. And get nothing. Why? <laughs> because uh, the information should be in a straight line. You cannot use a table. Okay, so I prefer to do it by the Google Office. Google Office here, for example, if I, if I do it here, mean, go to the function line, comment line, press equal F average, got an average, and the value will select, I select here with a close bracket and here is the number okay how about the standard deviation the same way you can select here then select ah oh, sorry <laughs> i use this computer i forgot to switch the the interface to to, to english I, i'm sorry then because i have two computers this one is old one the new one oh okay 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 and one minute please Let me switch the language to the language, language, language. Okay, got it. Done. Okay, I'm back. I'm back here. Okay, I just finished it. I just finished it. And here, uh, set a deviation. Insert function statistics. Then select standard deviation as standard s s s. Standard deviation here is A for samples, S for samples, P for population. Either A or dot S or A is or either one is okay. I like S. S for samples. Okay, 
click it here, then select the range and click enter. Yes, here is the answer. Here is the answer. Okay, let's fill the answer here. So the first, uh, the first one, the answer is the mean of the first group. That is thirty. How can you not say thirty? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So totally, there are thirty groups. Thirty groups. Then the mean three thirty five point three. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, thirty-five. Uh, because I gave the TA the wrong answer sheet. <laughs> sorry. Okay, that's thirty-five point three, and the standard deviation is twenty point seven. Because the third third decimal round up to the second decimal, that will be seven. Okay, then the same way, the same way I did it. That's 35.13, the standard deviation is 22.30. So we finish this part. That's okay. And the standard deviation, sorry, uh, that this part is okay. And p value, how to calculate the p value? You can use the Google Office or I prefer to use it here. Okay, let's check it. I just entered the mean SEM or number or enter the mean standard deviation or number. I select this one. This one is unpaired t test. Okay, then go to here. Go to here. The group A. I call it group eleven. Either one is good. the mean is three point three. Standard deviation thirty five. Oh, sorry, twenty point seven seven. The number is thirty, and the mean here. The mean here that is thirty five point one three. The standard deviation twenty two point three zero. Number thirty. Then calculate. Okay, the p value nine point nine seven fifty seven. I use a pair of parentheses to put that together. That should be five seven. Okay, and because the p value is too big, is greater than zero point oh five, then we can call it no significant difference. Okay, that's done. This part is okay. Then we can move to the second question. Sorry, the 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 fourth question. 